Hi everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm making a side table. I'm using an X-Carve CNC mill to make the legs. At first in the process, I thought of an odd and different shape and came to the seventh sided shape, an heptagon. It's not an easy shape when you think of the angles and how to make it with traditional tools. Later on, I thought about stacking some shapes together and then later uh, gradually make them smaller and bigger. Then the tapered shape was born. It's not literally a linear shape, uh, but the shape difference makes it more parabolic. The shape differs 87.5% from each other. I bought this X-Carve about a year ago here in Europe via Robo Savvy. They helped me with some advice on the tool and give me a quicker price and delivery. When I would import the tool from the US, I had to figure out the customs duty by myself that time. When the heptagons were removed from the sheet, I removed the milling tabs with a chamfer tool in a palm router. This was a quick solution. The side of the plywood was smooth enough, so I did not sand that. Then I could start the assembly and see how the shape was coming together. Usually I draw out the design, but here I made some shapes and then pushed that piece them together until it would look good. I use regular glue and very light pressure and in some cases not even pressure by the clamps. The glue joint then still is sufficient. I tested it and it will break on the plywood and not on the new glue joint. The plywood is spruce, rated for construction. It's not as refined as birch, but the ply thickness is, is thick and very pronounced. So that works for this design. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Then I improvised on the top. I got a fancy concrete paper and grinded out a pretty shape. This shape came just to mind. I baffled the grind by eye and when cutting gently, this is precise enough. To reduce the dust, water could be added when grinding, but this was only a few minutes of cutting, so it was no big deal at all. Then I could glue the legs to the top. This is polyurethane construction adhesive and I make sure the surfaces were clean before adding the glue. And then it was finished. It came out super cool and I'm quite proud of this one. When I'm looking from below, the legs look like a cave. The relative rough finish on all the parts are not bothersome to the design in my opinion. Thanks for watching.